This is not very nice to fly. You little beast. I wasn't expecting it to do that. Okay, today we're gonna see how much this little beast can lift. So the Blade 230 SV2 weighs about 379 grams. That's with a 900 milliamp hour battery, it's slightly bigger than the stock 850. What I've done is put this shoelace type thing, uh, looped it around the main frame underneath the main gear. So it's pretty central, shouldn't affect the center of gravity too much. So one of these 900 mAh batteries in the bag weighs 75 grams. We'll start off with one of those to warm up. Easy. Now, this is the hard bit. <laughs> Next, we're going to try the WO Toys A8XK A800 RC Motor Glider, which weighs, I'll try and balance it, about 120 grams. Easy. This is not very nice to fly. Right, next up, we'll try the bag again with three of these batteries. One, two, stay there, three, that, 244 grams, about the same weight as a Mavic Mini. Let's see if it handles this, or see if I can. Not sure about that, yep, just about. Got it. About 250 grams. Pull it back. This is the nightmare bit. That'll do. Stay there. Right, should we try something a little bit more? Let's try the same bag full of three batteries, which as we know is about 240. If I add in this stock charger, which I never use, 
it's about 290 so we can get something to make it 300 292 with the blade holders 302 with an old shoelace stock charger blade grip three batteries see if we can lift 300 300 grams is going to be a tough one Three hundred grams, yes. Let's not push it. Good hold it up. Try and get a better landing. Bag is about where it was. Far too windy to be doing this. Yes. Good flight. Well, I had a much better idea. Instead of risking slamming my batteries into the ground uh, every few minutes, decided to just use some rocks. It's more sensible, isn't it? So I did three hundred. Let's be a bit ambitious and try and see if it can lift its own weight of about 380 grams with a few rocks. Wish me luck. Here we go. 380 grams, if it can lift this, roughly equivalent to a Chinook, and it can lift its own weight. Just about. Does not like that. Let's get it back down. Well, I think we're getting closest to our limit, but if I can make it around 400, that'd be good. So the next, there's an extra 20 grams of pebbles. Chuck them in, see if I can land a bit better. Four hundred grams. Get away from me. Not bad. Okay, two more little stones. Forty-eight grams. As well as this bag which weighs uh, just over 400, so that's 450, call it 450 grams. 450 grams, let's go. Yes, 450. We put 
put another little stone in and it's now 495 with the other string over there. I'll call it 500. I'll do 500 grams. Let's see what we can do. Getting a bit windy. Can you do half a kilo? Go on. Yes, yeah, just about. I'm just gonna have to land that off piece of it. That's it. You guessed it. We'll go for five fifty ish. 50 Oh it doesn't like that Doesn't want to do 550 Wonder if I'd love for work Well, that was scary. Uh, at least I didn't break it. I really thought I might today, but uh, it's all in the name of science. So somewhere between 500 and 550 is what this thing can probably lift. Uh, let's chuck on the scales to get an exact measurement of the other bits of string. Wow. Wow. So it's all tallied up and with the other bits of string, it's actually lifting 570 grams. More than I thought. What a beast. I wasn't expecting it to do that. <laughs> <laughs>